Hello, Namaskara. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be yet another um, comparison in my comparison series. So today's video is going to be on these two foundations. These two are probably tied. These two are some of my favorite foundations. So let's just hop on into the video. First, let's talk about this foundation. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This retails for 500 rupees as I'm seeing on Nykaa and they have a total of 15 shades. And looking at the shade range, they have some beige, some like, they have, I would say, um, maybe a little bit of light to maybe at the end of medium, beginning of tan spectrum they do not have anything deeper than that i feel at least from the shades that i'm looking up on anika and uh, this one is supposed to be completely matte i have this shade 230 which is a natural buff and this has a 30 ml or one fluid ounce of product this foundation is a liquidy foundation and it comes in a glass bottle and you do not have a pump you can see how gross and disgusting my bottle is i've had this for a, like this is the very first correct foundation that i purchased for myself and it has a lot of sentimental value for me and this is the threshold against which i measure almost every single one of my foundations you guys know this in every single foundation review that i do or comparison that i do i always compare it to this one this is uh, like a thin liquidy foundation super easy to blend you can make this like look like a bb cream or you can make this look like full shellac on your face that's how versatile this product is and it does make the appearance of your pores a lot smaller it doesn't like completely hide it or camouflage it but it does reduce the appearance of your pores to really good extent it makes see when you look at me on the camera okay on camera it can be a little deceiving it might look like my face is perfect and it does look cakey or heavy but in real life sometimes it looks like I have makeup on but when I look at myself in the mirror and when I look at myself in the viewfinder I feel like it's exactly how it looks it looks like this even in real life and if you come obviously if you come like this close to my face you'll be able to see you'll be, uh, you'll be able to see that there's foundation but uh, if you are at like a feet distance or so then your face looks freaking flawless and it photographs beautifully it doesn't have any flashback it doesn't have any spf it makes your skin look really smooth and seamless and airbrushed and this has like this sort of satin finish wherein if you are uh, very dry you just have to apply a really good moisturizer underneath and if you're super oily you just have to apply like a completely mattifying primer this will work for a huge variety of skin tones skin types not skin tones uh, if you even if you are dry normal combination oily no matter what the case might be this foundation will work for you if you find a shade match in india there are only 15 shades but i think of in uh, other countries there are plenty more shades available and the there are couple cons to this foundation and all those cons are for the packaging there is nothing about the product in itself that it has a con at least not what i have found one thing is that it's a glass bottle so it's 100 percent not travel friendly and this glass is like really fragile so it might break i mean not so fragile but it's not travel friendly type of a packaging and the second thing is the pump it doesn't have a pump so when you are pouring it onto your hand or a container or a mixer or something you will pour a lot more than needed it sometimes it, it does happen i'm not gonna lie so that's the con and for that i would reduce like i would reduce a little bit of points so out of five i would rate this a good 4.7 uh, packaging is a problem shade range is a problem the packaging the glass bottle is a problem there's no pump so that's two and the other one is the shade range i wish they had even more shades than they do now when i first bought this foundation they had like five shades uh, to what they have now 15 shades it's definitely an improvement but i would definitely like to see even more deeper even more deep shades uh, tan shades in the range than just you know the generic light medium dark i would like to see more shades now coming to the other foundation this is the wet and wild photo focus oh the other thing that i forgot to mention is the fit me, fit me foundation does not oxidize at all and that shade is such a perfect match for me even when i'm at my palest or even if i'm at my tannest that foundation still matches me not that i get too tan or too pale but even at those extreme ends of my spectrum in my skin tone it does match me so that is like the 
bang on sheet match that's actually the found is it the foundation no that's not the foundation i have ignore that so now let's talk about this wet and wild foundation this is the wet and wild photo focus foundation and i have the shade bronze beige which is the medium tan and uh, it it is also in a glass bottle packaging and it has this thing as a doe foot like it's not a doe foot it's like a paddle applicator so that portion i like because you can control the amount of product that you are actually putting on your face but this is a glass packaging and again i am not comfortable with taking a glass bottle when i'm traveling granted that i don't travel that much but for those people who do that would be a problem and then let me look up the shades so the wet and wild photo focus foundation retails for 599 rupees and it has only nine shades the maybelline ones can be purchased at counters online amazon flipkart nika everywhere it's available this wet and wild foundation is available only on nika a and secondly the shade that i have is bronze beige and i don't think this uh, this would suit it says it's medium to tan and warm undertone it is a warm undertone but i don't think this would suit medium to tan skin skin at all if you guys can see the uh, shades this one is a perfect match it's a little bit deeper a little more orange this one is a little more golden and a little more yellow and this one is supposed to match for medium skin tones but i don't think it will um this foundation does definitely oxidize a lot on me and when i first apply it it definitely looks like i have painted white color on my face and in like a minute or two minutes it does adapt to my skin tone and it does uh, you know match my skin tone pretty pretty well so i would say that this this definitely does oxidize i will not tell it doesn't oxidize it will 100% oxidize so when you are buying a shade then make sure that you're buying a shade down like you're buying a shade that is don't buy a shade that is darker just buy a shade that that might be a little light for you so it will oxidize i'm not saying go two three shades down like like a highlighting concealer but definitely a little bit lighter of a color would not be that much of a terrible match because this definitely oxidizes and retails for 599 rupees which is essentially 600 rupees and you again get the same quantity that is 30 ml of product so in terms of quantity i think they are the same but in terms of pricing definitely the maybelline fit me foundation wins because it's just for 500 and this is for 600 rupees even 100 rupees difference is a difference you guys and then this one is a photo focus foundation meaning this is tested under a different light conditions like tube lights phone lights flashlights camera lights and this is supposed to have the flawless uh, like filter type of face in every single one of those lights which i think is true because when i did my previous chit chat get ready with me i did use this foundation and you can see clearly in that video how many scars i had on my face and this completely covered all of that up a and b it did not look heavy or cakey whether it was in real life or whether it was on camera it looked really really beautiful so i would say this is a very nice uh, photography and flash friendly foundation meaning it doesn't have um flashback so it will give you beautiful flawless looking face in pictures and even in flash photography like this would be really good for weddings or proms or graduation stuff like that this would be really 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 good and then yeah like it says it is tested under seven light conditions with top smartphones with and without flash so yeah that's what it says and this foundation is absolutely stunning if you want like a full shell lac coverage on your face like cover up everything cover up my eyebrows cover up my eyes this is the foundation for you to go you guys know i'm not a big fan of full coverage foundation but this foundation i, I absolutely love for full coverage like full coverage that i want not the full full coverage so usually i will tone this down with like a face oil or something to give it a little more uh, slip to it because this is really good if you have uh, like combo to oily skin if you are someone with dry skin this will dry out your skin even more because i think the first ingredient in this is an alcoholic ingredient so it has alcohol as its first ingredient basically so alcohol will dry out your skin and if you are someone with a dry skin type already this will definitely dry you out more so definitely use like a serum mixed in with the foundation and also a really really hydrating primer if you are from the dry skin family but you still want this foundation and it's uh, benefits you can make it work it's not like completely against that you cannot make this work but you do have to do some you know changes in your um, base for this to look really good and if you are someone like who goes on night outs and all that and you want 
something super flawless this is the foundation to go one of the only times that i've gone out in my life so i wore this and i have to say the pictures look flawless i'm not so flawless in real life i know myself i know how my face looks but with this foundation it looks like you are like this awesome model and your face looks flawless airbrushed and it's absolutely good it's like it's it's really 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 good another con apart from the glass bottle it's the smell it smells very 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 strong it because of the alcohol i feel like the smell is so strong i think it's the alcohol that makes it smell like a paint thinner if you can get past the smell once you apply the foundation you can't smell it much but the smell is still there so if you're really sensitive to smell stay away from this and if you're someone with sensitive skin also i would say stay away from this because the scent or the alcohol in it might react to your skin uh, in a negative way so i would deduct like three points for that again this is a 4.7 in my book this is a 4.7 in my book I would say either or I won't really tell you pick which pick this pick that you know both of them are absolutely amazing it just depends on what you prefer what your preference is if you want to buy both the foundations go for it I mean there's nothing uh, that this foundation offers that this one doesn't and vice versa so both of these are absolutely amazing budget friendly drugstore the only way like one tips the scale in the other direction is that the wet and wild uh, foundation is cruelty free so if you are someone who follows that very strictly who purchases only cruelty free products then go for the wet and wild one otherwise you can do either or there's not really much of a difference you can definitely build up the maybelline one to get full coverage and the wet and wild one doesn't really need building up because one soup and you are flawless so with that we come to the end of this review i feel like i've been speaking for a really long time i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then please give this video a thumbs up let me know in the comments down below if you have to pick one of the two which one would you pick if it was me you guys know i would pick the fit me foundation but i me having both i would choose either or but if i had to had to had to pick it will be the fit me foundation so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please give this video a thumbs up let me know your thoughts in the comments down below please like share comment subscribe and also make sure to hit the notification bell because you know youtube plays up that algorithm every so often i'm not happy about that so yeah i will see you in my next one bye